I'm gonna try to get back on my diet today. I've been eating like basically Christmas dinners every single meal. The worst part is when I run out of protein powder. Honestly, like protein powder is probably one of the supplements I use the most. It just makes it really easy and convenient to get your protein in. So I'll have like two protein powder meals a day. Honestly, when you're having six meals a day, it's whatever. I won't go beyond that, but yeah, you know, when you're trying to get in a certain amount of protein and your food's like really high, protein powder is really convenient. You know, you can mix it up, bring it to the gym with you. If you're on, if you gotta go somewhere really quickly, it's really easy just to like make something like this or even just a protein shake. So fucking hot. The only thing about curry rice is fucking hot as shit. Evo greens, I don't eat fruits and vegetables. I just take this and honestly, I prefer it that way. Just makes it really easy, convenient. Tastes pretty decent too. This flavor is the berry flavor, but I prefer the chocolate one. It's just that we ran out of the chocolate one. So I don't know if it's restocked or not yet, but hopefully it is. If it is, I would grab the chocolate one. It goes really good. You can even mix in your cube of rice or oatmeal or whatever. It's great. So can I get my liver longer for my liver? I think it's what, three, four of these. You got the omega threes, Evo J sells that as well, so you take that. Red yeast rice. Now usually I just have it all in this, this thing here, but it doesn't, all the pills that I take don't fit in this fucking thing, so. Okay, I'm just gonna transfer this to the kitchen table so that I can eat the, I have this every morning. If I don't have this, my day's fucked. Like yesterday, I didn't bring my protein powder somewhere where I was and it was just like a total mess and my breakfast was screwed up, didn't eat till 1.30. It was like, oh, big old mess, but yeah. This is, the reason I choose this breakfast is just easy. You don't have, it doesn't take me like 30 minutes to cook it, to make it. I can just put it in my mouth, you know, as soon as I'm done faster cardio and it digests really easy. Curve rice digests super easy. Uh, uh, alongside the isoject, and that's why I have a post workout. Post workout as well. Uh, post workout and first thing in the morning, I don't really like to eat things that are hard to digest that take a while to assimilate into the body. I try to eat things that are just gonna just get right in the muscle as fast as possible. So, protein powder digests super quick. Same thing with the cream of rice. So can't go wrong with that. All right, it's meal number one. Got meal number two going. I run some errands, got me a mini fridge. Got a mini fridge so when I go to my girlfriend's house, I can put my growth hormone somewhere and not in their fucking family's fridge. So I don't look like some fucking drug addict. Like, you know how crazy that looks? <laughs> <laughs> I would never, like, it's like I'm going so ballsy. Like, oh. It's just like in their fridge, right? And we're just like, holy shit, like, hope they don't see it. <laughs> but what are you gonna do, you know? I'm gonna stick to the protocol. I got the protocol. And I plan on staying on that shit, man. I, I, like when I have something in my head, like start a cycle or a new compound or I have a new game plan that I have, like I'm so OCD, like I can't miss a shot. I can't miss a workout. I can't miss a meal. You know, if I have to take growth hormone every day, two shots every single day, I'm doing that and I'm not missing that shit because if I miss it, I feel like, what am I doing? You know, like this is, this is my thing. I gotta fucking stay on top. It eats me up on the inside. So it's like, might be a little awkward to put it in there, but it's like, at the end of the day, it will bother me more missing those shots and not putting it in the fridge than someone seeing it in there and asking questions about it. <laughs> you know, I'd rather have more peace of mind just taking the fucking shots, you know. It will bother me more missing it than someone finding it and being like, what is this? And then me having to explain, oh, the performance enhancing drugs I inject in my body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got the mini fridge so I can just put it in her room and just store it in there. So, you know, all good. Her family's really cool and chill, so even if they find it, I don't think it'd be that big of a deal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think. Meal number two. Hmm. Brandon's, uh, has a date with his boyfriend tonight, so he's not gonna be around for leg day. Every, every day, day my leg day. Mm. Okay. Good life. Oh. Uh, after good life, it's tomorrow too. Off to Charles Scott concert. I'm gonna eat this. Then I'm gonna have one more meal before I go to the gym. Whoa. Whoa, all right. So I'm filming myself, POV version. 
Um, Brandon went out somewhere, so I gotta do this all by myself, all right? So we got meal number three here. Check it out. Flip this around. Ooh. Okay, what do we got? We got six ounces of meat composed of, we got a little red meat in there, so we got some jam, or some ham. Fuck, I was about to say jambon. Do jambon, ground chicken, pickles, and then we do again two rice cakes. I like that red meat, some sort of red meat before I train, so it's leg day. Helps with the pump. There's a little extra salt in there as well. It's gonna help me stay fuller while I train. So, especially on a leg day, you wanna keep that pump going, all right, guys? So, this is meal number three. And then, meal number four, I bring it to the gym with me. So, I'll show it to you. It's what I had for breakfast. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you guys see that shit all the time, but it's literally what I had for, for breakfast. The cream of rice, two scoops of protein powder, and the peanut butter. So, I bring that with me. And like I said at the beginning of the video, it's just really easy to digest, so, and just easy to put down, so that's why it's meal number four post-workout, okay? I'll probably bring you in for meal number five later. All right, peace. All right, guys, wasn't bullshitting. Here goes the post-workout meal here. Um, I'm filming this on an iPhone, so the quality looks different, you know, because obviously Brandon's not here, had to bring the camera with me, so. iPhone for now. Boom, face on the iPhone. Okay, we got uh, really the same thing we have for breakfast. Uh, we got. 45 grams of cream of rice, two scoops of ice jack. We got the churro flavor here, and uh, just a scoop, like a tablespoon of uh, peanut butter. And uh, sick this gym. Here, muscle obviously has spoons, so you can eat your fucking meal, pre-workout, post-workout, whatever. So here it is, really easy to digest. Um, you guys pick your post-workout meals. I highly suggest that you choose something that is uh, easy to put down, easy to digest, and something that will just similar to the body as quickly as possible so yeah there we go i almost forget to fill my last meal here i just almost i cooked it and almost started eating it without showing you what it is so you probably guess what it is it's just six ounces of ground chicken some uh two rice cakes and uh some pickles in there so i'll show you what it is look at that wow delicious this is meal number five okay guys um now here's the thing i've recently just as of 10 minutes ago made the executive decision to cut my meals down from six meals to five meals a day now so up to this point for the last like i would say month to six weeks i've been eating six meals a day um because you know post show i was still kind of blasting a little bit just to get take advantage of the post show rebound so i had my calories increased i was I up my meals from five meals to six meals. So when I was prepping, I was doing five meals. I was trying to take advantage of the post show rebound, put on as much size as I could before I went to a cruise. So we bumped the meals up to six meals. Um, now that I'm not blasting anymore, I'm um, just into my cruise. I'm just a little over two weeks on my cruise. I've made the ex executive decision right now to just drop it to five meals, just to give my body a bit of a break um, with my digestion. Um, uh, just just pushing things, you know, so even when I'm in the gym now um, I'm not pushing with the expectations like I'm gonna fucking grow like if I grow that's great But I'm trying to give my body during this health phase or cruise time just to have a break You know give my joints a break give my body a break give my digestion a break um, Right now in the health phase the the goal is to just maintain the muscle that I have get healthy and uh just honestly, just give yourself a break. So going 100% in the gym year round, pushing, grinding, you know, it's gonna catch up to you, right? So it's good to have periods of the year where, you know, you're still obviously training, still doing your cardio and everything, but maybe when you train, instead of going 100% in the gym every single day like you normally would, maybe you go some day 75%, you know, just to stimulate the muscle, right? So obviously if I'm blasting or if I'm getting ready for a show, I'm going 100% in the gym all the fucking time. You know, if I'm trying to grow, you gotta go 100%. You gotta stimulate that muscle to grow. You gotta do whatever it takes to grow. But that's when I'm on the blast, right? So I'm trying to make the most of the blast. Right now I'm in the cruise. So I'm just trying to maintain, going 100% in the gym, balls to the wall, like I'm blasting a ton of shit, is, uh, you know, it's, it's just it's just gonna bother my joints. You know, it's, I'm not gonna put on, I, I, you could put on muscle, but I'm not gonna put on like a shitload like I would when I was blasting. So it, I just think it's a good time just to give my body a break at this point, even with the diet. I should be able to maintain this size and this weight, bring it down to five meals. I don't think taking out the six meal, I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference at all, to be honest with you. I think I'm pretty stable with where I'm at right now. And uh, 
I'll see I'll still go the balls of the wall in the gym when I feel like it you know but to force myself to grind it out um, when you're just on a cruise you know th there's really no point you know you know just take time you know there's got to be periods in the of the year where you know you're giving the digestion a break you know you're not you're giving your body your joints a break in the gym you know not a total break to where you're not doing shit but you know you're just not going 100 percent full throttle 24 7 so just taking advantage of that now but this is meal number five my last meal you guys see it baby and you know what maybe i'll indulge in some and some treats after who knows just a little bit you know nothing crazy again I'm not pushing anything too crazy but maybe you know i'm not dying for a show so i can have a little carrot cake little cookie action too so yeah all right peace